Scala collections. We are having very enriched collection library in Scala with the help of which we can define different types of collections in our Scala programming. So, Scala has rich set of collection library. Collections are containers of things and those containers can be sequenced and linear sets of items like your list, tuple, option, maps are the examples of this collection. This collection, the collections may have an arbitrary number of elements or be bounded to 0 or 1 element. So, as example, we can go for option. So, it can have uh, say multiple number of elements or bound to 0 or 1 number of elements. Collections may be strict or lazy. Now, we are having uh, some idea what is the lazy. We know that in case of lazy, the computation of the variable, the computation of the variable will be done as when required, not prior to that. So, lazy collections have elements that may not consume memory until they are accessed like our ranges. So, additionally, collections may be mutable. The contents of the reference can be changed or updated or immutable that things that a reference refers to is cannot be cannot be changed or cannot be updated. Note that immutable collections may contain mutable items also. For some problems, mutable collections can work better and for some other problems, immutable collections can work better. So, that is why when in doubt, it is better to start with an immutable collections and change it later if you want to update the mutable ones. So, that is why in if you are not confirmed that whether you should going, going to define any mutable or any immutable objects, collection objects, then it is better to start with an one immutable collection and change it later if you want to mute them that means do some changes on them. So, here we have just started one dis discussion and introduction with the Scala collections and we will be discussing different collections into details in our separate videos. Thanks for watching this video.